so we'll see through how much of this review I can get through uh, we got a little one down having the bottle for the moment so I'm sure he'll start crying and I'll have to go in in a second but uh, so you saw the short this is the project I've been working on uh, with Cycle Center down in Renton uh, they're online it's the largest retailer in Washington State um, Fanatic uh, did have uh, an S works a 2022 frame uh, that I could have built up uh, but I wanted the 23 for a couple of reasons uh, actually hold on one sec let me see if I can find something all right I was able to find it uh, so uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to go with the 23 um, over the 22 is for 2023 you won't be able to tell exactly with the bike uh, sitting the way it is it's the only way I could set it up out here um, and still be close enough to the baby um, was uh, the specialized on the stumpy Evo Pro and S works it ships from the factory as a mullet uh, so it's 29 up front 27.5 in the rear and you get the 29er link to come with the bike. So instead of you buying the 29er and then have to pay 79 bucks for the mullet link, uh, you get it as a mullet and get the 29er link for free. Uh, you know, I mean, it's an expensive bike, so it should come with both links if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> I went with the S Works. Uh, I've always wanted to S-Work, so I think they're nice. Um, but um, there is a couple of things that I changed that come on the S-Works. Uh, it comes with a 36. This is a 38. Uh, I am 6'6", 259 pounds, first thing in the morning, before putting on any gear or anything like that. Uh, hold on one second. Just making sure the baby didn't need me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm a big dude, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, not, uh, what people would say overweight. I could probably stand to lose 15 pounds, but, uh, so the reason that's important <laughs> is, um, the specialized website says that the weight limit on, S works or pro uh, basically anything that comes with carbon revol uh, handlebars uh, the uh, carbon cranks or carbon wheels has a weight limit of 240 pounds um, <clears throat> on the 23s they switch from carbon revol handlebars to the one up handlebars that were specced on uh, the uh, custom build MTB mag did uh, a couple of years ago or maybe a year ago um, <clears throat> uh, basically everything that he chose uh, is what is on this bike uh, for the most part um, but I went with the 23 because uh, the one up handlebars um, do not have a weight limit on them and I went with the uh, titanium cranks. Uh, one, I'm a huge fan of titanium, but two, uh, they don't have a weight limit either, um, as opposed to the carbon cranks, uh, which obviously do. Now, there was no way to get around having carbon wheels and a weight limit um, from the factory, so I'm running Cush Core Pro uh, to protect the wheels, uh, and that's part of how we ended up with a 34.1 pound weight uh, for the bike one it's an s6 which is a big bike to begin with uh, then you have uh, fox 38 on there and kush core um, you know uh, i'm not as anyone would say a weight weenie but if you don't have to have a heavy bike it's obviously better not to but uh, at s6 sizes your bike is always going to be heavy uh, you know being 259 pounds uh I'm, you know, Mike Kazmer and Mike Levy put together, basically. <laughs> you know? So, uh, I'm not super concerned with my bike being heavy, uh, but 
if I can get it below 35 pounds, that, that's great. So uh, that was the reason that I went with uh, the S-Works. Aside from just personal desire, uh, it does have uh, uh, that extra piece of carbon in there that shaves 100 grams. Not, not much, but a little something everywhere uh, helps. Uh, the titanium cranks uh, were a little lighter than the carbon cranks. Um, and uh, a lot lighter than the aluminum Dev 5, which was the other option um, cranks. Uh, those were, uh, I don't remember the, the weight on them, but they were uh, uh, two-thirds heavier, uh, I remember that, than the, the titanium cranks. Uh, and then I went with the copper cassette and chain in the back, uh, as I plan on doing something with that uh, uh, oil slick cassette uh, that you'll see. Uh, in an upcoming video, uh, as well as the Fox 36 that was on there. So you'll see what, what both of those ended up on uh, in a video shortly. But um, yeah, this is this is it. So uh, I went with the Specialized Stump Jumper Evo out of all the bikes that are out there and, you know, bike sales and all that, um, because I think uh, something that, that isn't really talked about, but you're kind of getting you know, 18 versions of a bike in one. Uh, I went with the stock uh, rims as a mullet setup because I didn't want to invest money into mulleting my bike for the time that I'm gonna mullet the bike. Uh, I would like to be able to uh, <clears throat> switch between mullet and 2.9 uh, as I desire um, and it as I said came with the the 29 linkage and I plan on building up a cross-country set of industry 9 uh, rims well hubs the hydra hub and, and I'll decide what rim um, and wheel set that I will put on there uh, this spring uh, so that I can <clears throat> get the bike, you know, into a cross-country-esque mode, uh, you know, 160 mil uh, front travel, 150 in the rear is not cross-country territory, but uh, between the mullet link, the two-niner link, and uh, the cascade link, you can turn this bike into anything. Uh, you know, going from uh, 63 degrees all the way up to 65.5, which is uh, how it's set up right now, uh, is uh, an amazing amount of adjustability. Uh, you got the flip chip in the rear, uh, which is in the high setting. So, uh, you know, with that tool and uh, a couple minutes, you can set the bike up the way the terrain demands, depending on what you're doing uh, as the day goes on. So, you know, you could start out cross countrying it and end up, you know, uh, in Whistler at the bike park where you want to be in full sin. So uh, that's more than one bike or this bike, uh, you know. <clears throat> everybody's looking for that one quiver killer when I really started looking uh, the more I understood the mountain biking industry the lighter your bike is really only helps you if you're racing having less suspension is something that you will end up regretting far more often than having a heavier bike. Uh, now, obviously you can go too far the other direction. You know, I, I wouldn't just pedal around all day on an enduro, but if you're looking for one bike to do everything, and, and I mean, you know, if I was only gonna have one bike to do it all, I, I do think a trail bike is the right direction to go. Um, you know, obviously the S-Works is expensive. You don't have to go that option if you don't want to if you you know decide to spend your money on a bike go for it if you got other things to do with your money great 
Uh, I personally think uh, the Stumpy Evo Expert gets you basically everything you need. Uh, any additional money is personal preference and you know that that's fine however you decide to spend your money but um, the the Evo expert will I mean you you're gonna have to buy the mullet link uh, and I'm still gonna have to buy the cascade link it doesn't come with that uh, aftermarket part but um, <clears throat> between the two niner link the mullet link the cascade link all of the adjustability being able to uh, you know, go plus or minus one on the headset or neutral, uh, the higher low setting, uh, flip chip in the rear. <clears throat> You're, you've got 18 different versions of the same bike, you know, with, uh, a couple of links and uh, a new rim and tire setup. So, uh, I think that's spectacular. It makes the bike a hell of a deal. I've seen a lot of people buy dream bikes and then go, uh, you know, i I wish I had more of this or more of that or could adjust this or change that and they can't and you know with 18 different versions of this bike I think it's gonna be a long time before I'm unhappy and, and need to get something else so uh, it was a long time coming last year my company had a very good year uh, and you could say I'm uh, sponsored by my company, Children's Nursing Services. If you guys are having uh, uh, trouble getting pregnant and having to go through IVF at home, please feel free to reach out. We help couples uh, get through the IVF process uh, every day in the greater Seattle area. Um, I certainly make sure that we take care of everybody in the, the bike industry. I mean, anybody, <laughs> even if you're not in the bike industry, we'll help you out. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is uh, a project that I've been working on for a while. Uh, very happy with how it came out. Uh, thank you very much to Center Cycle. Uh, they did a great job sourcing everything, getting it all put together. Uh, and a lot of very knowledgeable guys down there, a lot of current and ex Seahawks uh, get their bikes there and you may run into a few if you if you happen to walk in so uh, feel free to go on down there uh, but <clears throat> this is uh, the best bike I've ever had by uh, by a long shot probably the best bike most people would ever have by a long shot and I uh, can't wait to get out on the trails and uh, put it through its paces had a perfect trail dog now we've got the perfect trail bike to go along with. All right, guys. See ya.